what is up and what is going on ladies and gentlemen my name is night owl 141 and this is advanced warfare i absolutely love that line it is from the call of duty advanced warfare launch trailer and as you guys know this is a very big and important uh, event for the call of duty community last week call of duty advanced warfare officially launched and in my opinion it is something that everybody uh, can look forward to it is a game that we have been in desperate need of for a long time and it is something completely new and fresh now i would consider myself a call of duty veteran uh, given that i've basically bought every single call of duty to date and I've pl been playing the multiplayer passionately since Call of Duty 4, uh, which is the reason why my total uh, Call of Duty game time in all of them combined would probably be uh, over 3-4 months or something like that. I really haven't gotten around to counting, doesn't really matter. And basically, it has been a very, very dry season in FPS. Uh, we've seen FPS's like Titanfall, Destiny, COD Ghosts, Battlefield 4, and so on, but none of these were really big, spectacular. You know, none of these games really had that thing that kept you uh, playing the game, that made you want to play it. And Advanced Warfare is here to change that. Now, as you guys know, this is a completely new experience for many reasons the most important one being that this is a new studio this is sledgehammer games this is not infinity war this is not treyarch this is a completely uh, new studio this is something which can be seen from the very start uh the game is completely different anything you've known about call of duty you can just throw it out uh that is basically the reason why myself and a lot of other uh, Call of Duty veterans have been struggling with this game uh, simply because it doesn't uh, have the feel that Call of Duty has. Uh, it is more like Titanfall, a lot of very, very fast-paced gameplay and is something that definitely needs taking used to. However, I can absolutely say that this is not... Uh, anything even remotely similar to the pre previous Call of Duties. If anyone says that this is exactly the same as the previous ones, uh, they don't know what they're talking about. And I am very, very glad for that. This series desperately needed uh, some freshness and innovation, and Advanced Warfare brings exactly that. Now, let me just start off by saying the stuff that I absolutely love about the game. The thing that, you know, you may have possibly guessed uh, which I've been glorifying so far is the movement. I absolutely love how the game is much more fast paced uh, You can basically get from one side of the map to the other in what 10 20 30 seconds or something like that Everybody has integrated marathon. So there's unlimited sprinting uh, The exo movement sort of get you you know these really really fast bursts of speed to traverse the map with ease and this also adds a layer of verticality that we have not seen before uh, all of the warfare has been moved one uh, floor above there's a lot of rooftop fighting um, there's people jumping all over the map it's crazy it's hectic fast paced and I absolutely love it the verticality is something which uh, has basically never been attempted in Call of Duty or really FPS's uh, in general before. I mean, there have been some, of course, but never uh, too much, you know. So I really love that Sledgehammer decided to uh, make something completely new to take a concept. And I can tell you that it absolutely works in this game. All well, the other stuff that I love about the game, I can tell you that the customization is great. No longer do we just have... Uh, 
you know class customization or appearance customization we now actually have score street customization you can basically take a 400 point uav uh, you can beef it up to last longer to display enemy direction to sweep more quickly and then you know essentially turning it into a 700 point uav this is also applicable to every other score streak uh, and i love to fiddle around with these uh, different you know score streak variants uh, it's really fun for me and i love uh, that feature in general another thing that I really love about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which I think is something that the series desperately needed, uh, that is fixed hit detection. Hit detection is a factor that essentially uh, decides, well, it doesn't really solely decide whether or not Call of Duty is going to be fun, but it is definitely a big, big factor especially for professional gamers for the mlg tournaments and so on if you have bad kit detection uh, it is basically gonna ruin the experience black ops 2 had poor very very poor hit detection and i do uh, not like that call of the advanced warfare has potentially the best hit detection so far every single shot is gonna get your hit marker there is no bullshit and i absolutely uh, love that I haven't tried out the campaign mode uh, yet, but from what I've seen and from what I've been hearing, it is great. Uh, it's really uh, this movie experience, you know, uh, put into a game. The cut scenes are great. The acting is top notch. You guys know that Kevin Spacey is basically uh, the main uh, bad guy of the game. Uh, and also the gameplay itself of the campaign looks very, you know, fast paced, intense, and basically what we are used to seeing in Call of Duty. I will definitely give that a try. Survival, I haven't played that much. I only played one match with my friend. It looks fun, uh, but I do not imagine playing it too much. I generally uh, don't really like survival all that much in the Call of Duty series. I would also like to sort of mention that I appreciate the fact that they've added a firing range. That is a small little detail, detail that many people uh, overlook. The firing range basically allows you to sort of uh, test recoil patterns and damage and mobility, that sort of stuff, before a match. Uh, it's really cool, you know, when you add another attachment to see basically how your weapon is going to perform. I really appreciate that feature uh, that Sledgehammer has added. Now, uh, I would like to sort of say some of the things that I do not really like about the game. First of all, very important, very important for the Call of Duty series in general is lag. There is a lot of it in this game. I've found that I've had one bar... Uh, two bar connections quite often actually um, well you know not too often but definitely more than some of the previous call of duties this is apparently because of skill based matchmaking where basically they're going to be matched with people of similar skill uh, and as a result you know they may be in Japan or in Venezuela or whatever and you're just going to have bad connection overall uh, I don't really like that feature, but, you know, they're saying uh, that they're working on it and that it's potentially going to be fixed in the next uh, couple of days. One of the things that have been uh, that have been really bothering me is the weapon balance. Now, as you guys know, or don't, uh, I am a gamer who basically goes for the win. I don't play this game solely for fun. I love to win and I love to basically dominate the scoreboard with the weapon imbalance in this game that's a little bit hard to do as you're seeing right now i'm using the imr which is a four round burst assault rifle which absolutely destroys people at any given range the weapon you saw me use in the clip before was the em1 the laser light machine gun and let me tell you the differences between these two weapons are so obvious it is insane when you take a look at the EM-1, it has absolutely zero advantages over the IMR, except for maybe hip fire, which is, you know, uh, 
a very very minor thing the assault rifles in this game are definitely the dominant weapon class this is not necessarily a bad thing i'd rather have dominant ars than dominant smgs like in black ops 2 but i think the ars are too dominant you know if somebody has a bell 27 and they're at least an average player it'll be really really hard for you to take him out with a submachine gun or basically anything that is not a another ar the BAL-27 is specifically overpowered in that weapon category. Uh, you're going to see basically about 80-90% of people use it. And that just basically needs to have damage uh, its damage reduced ASAP. Now, you may not see it in this match, but it is definitely present. The spawns. The spawns in this game are horrible. I've basically been spawned with a guy behind me aiming at my back i've seen people spawn in front of me just grab very very cheap kills uh it can lead to some really you know cheap and bad flow in free for all you have you you'll have people going from four points to like 20 in a matter of uh 10 20 seconds simply because of the bad spawns as you can see here i'm sort of controlling this rooftop everybody's kind of spawning around me and you know the game basically should spawn them away from me but it's not doing that it's spawning them close to me i'm getting cheap kills lots of them and that should sort of be fixed all right that's a very important thing and it should be fixed as soon as possible now uh i don't know if i've mentioned this even though the streaks have a lot of customization, I've found that the streaks in this game are very bad, most of them. That's something which bothers me because uh, I really love to, you know, get in like a controlled gunship and just wreck people. That's very hard to do in this game. Uh, you go into the Warbird, which is like this big badass you know warship which is invisible and has machine guns and you almost lose a free-for-all because of it i basically nearly lost a free-for-all because you get zero kills in it it is impossible to kill anybody with that thing uh it's weapons overheat and it lasts for like 30 seconds or something it is ridiculous you're better off not having anything that's why a lot of people are unequipping the score streaks and making their classes total beast they should basically up the score streaks uh, by a bunch okay now also the thing that has been uh maybe a little bit underpowered are some of the perks now I've said that I love the customization. There's definitely good, very, very good perks in this game. But there are also very lousy ones. For example, Hardwired. I don't think I've ever seen anybody use Hardwired. And I can definitely tell you that I've never even equipped this perk. It is useless and no one's running it. Some of the perks like uh, Gung Ho and Fast Hands, you know, are very situational. They need hip fire weapons and very very few people run them again i think that the perks should have costs kind of like in call of duty ghosts i think that they did that uh, specific section of ghosts quite well or maybe you know add more functions to some of the perks to make them viable so overall uh i am really having a lot of fun with this game i'm really loving this game i can see that sledgehammer has worked hard their effort is paying off this game is great a lot of or rather most of the youtubers agree with me uh it is tough though i will say this this game is tough all right when you get into it your first 10 20 matches you're going to be very frustrated i was very frustrated i actually wanted to quit this game uh i was barely keeping up a 1.0 kd uh, however as time progressed you know i just gradually became better at the game and now i'm winning free for alls nearly every match it's a tough game that you absolutely need to keep playing in order to get better at it. You're not instantly going to be good at it like I was with Call of Duty Ghosts. But if you pull through, if you keep playing the game, if you're dedicated, you're going to have a lot of fun with it. I guarantee it. Now, I've heard that some people are saying that 
you know, Advanced Warfare is going to basically lose 90% of its player base by January or February. Everyone's going to go back to Black Ops 2. I do not agree with that. I think people are going to be playing Advanced Warfare even after the next Call of Duty comes out. I would really want that because uh, this game is tons of fun. It's really good. Uh, Sledgehammer knows what they're doing. They're going to keep making uh good games good call of duties and i absolutely love that as far as the future of this channel is concerned i'm going to keep uploading uh videos i'm having a lot of fun with this game uh, a lot of clips are on their way and that's basically it those are my opinions uh, leave a like comment subscribe and like my page on facebook and until next time this is your boy night owl signing off